Have you ever seen somebody's arms big and lumpy and you wondered, whoa, what the hell is that? Well, more than likely, they were on dialysis and they have a fistula. So I'm gonna be discussing my fistula since I've got mine removed and it's been over two years. So if you know anyone that could benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment to hit subscribe to be notified when I post my next kidney video. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. start off by saying I don't know hopefully I'm pronouncing it I say fissula you may say fissula I don't know everybody says things a little bit different so please don't come for me in the comments because I may have pronounced it incorrectly I just like to call it a fissula and that's what I'm going to say if I said it correctly kudos um if not it is what it is all right guys so you guys have been coming in my dm a lot lately asking me hey what does yours look like now? Because I have a whole playlist on the fistula. So I showed you guys, you know, what it looked like when I was getting it removed, why I decided to get it removed. I mean, I went through everything detail by detail, but I think it's time that we actually discuss it again because it's been so long. Yes, we all know that a kidney transplant may not last forever. And you're wondering, well, why did you get yours removed? A lot of people are saying not to remove it. Well, I did it again because it's my preference, something that I decided that I wanted for myself because the amount of pain that I was going through. If you looked in one of my previous videos, I had all intentions of keeping it. But when I went in for surgery that day, because mine's kept narrowing, so it got really, really small and the pain as the blood was flushing through, it was hurting so much that it was unbearable. And my nurse and my doctor spoke to me and made me feel very, very comfortable with me removing it. The fact that, you know, my kidney numbers have been great across the board for a certain amount of time period. And the fact that my kidney came from my brother. They told me that I have a better chance of holding on to this kidney. All right guys, so there's a complete change of plans because you guys know that this keeps closing and it's gonna continue to keep closing. So after sitting here, talking to my doctor, talking, we decided that we're just gonna tie it off. I'm gonna walk in faith. I'm going to be okay. So we're gonna actually right now schedule um, I know I got all this done, I'm all hooked up, ready to go in, but we're going to reschedule the procedure. And if I needed one done, he will just do a new one. So I stepped out of faith and I went ahead and I did that. And when I first got it done, I thought it was infected. It looked really nasty. I even went back and I'm like, are you sure doc? Is this how it's supposed to look? He's like, yes, it's going to heal. I'm like, okay, well you promised me there's not gonna be any more bumps and I'm still seeing a little hump. He's like, give it time, Chrissy, it will go away. And long behold, it has. Look at my arm, it's been over two years um, since I had that procedure done. It's flat again. And there's a lot of benefits of me doing that, right? One, I could sleep a little bit better because I like to sleep on my hand and at that time I was not able to because they're like, oh, you're gonna mess up, but you know, don't do it, you know, stay off of that arm. And I was just tired of hearing that whoosh, 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 whoosh in my arm when I'm sleeping. And that was one of my benefits. I'm also, I didn't know until I actually got the procedure done that the doctor said, you know, it's hard on your heart. I'm like, it's hard on your heart. What the heck? Why didn't anyone tell us that? But you know, the vascular doctor decided at that particular time, it was just information he wanted to just tell me. And so I was like, wow, I gotta tell a lot of people that because I'm not suggesting, first and foremost, I am not suggesting that you remove yours. I suggest that you sit down, you have a consultation with your team and your um, vascular doctor and see what the best decision is for you. My decision was for me. Okay, let's get that out there. Disclosure, this is not me telling you what to do. But again, it does weaken in your heart, he said. So it's probably a good thing that I remove it anyway. So I'm like, okay, but like, what if something happens? I don't get to keep my kidney transplant. He was like, hey, did we not put a port in your chest for an emergency? I'm like, yes, yeah. so we will do that and we will go ahead and we'll find a new spot. I said, oh, okay, because I was told that once this was done, I won't be able to use the same spot again. So he was like, don't worry about it. 
you're young, I'll find you a new spot, go live your life. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So not only am I not experiencing any more of those pinching pains, oh, it's so great, but I can also take blood pressure on this arm. I know it's something small, but that was really big for me. Now I go into the doctor, you're like, which arm can you use? <laughs> Anyone, pick one, it's your choice. Um, but yes, I now can do blood pressure on this arm. But the biggest thing for me is lifting. Before I wasn't able to lift a lot, I was always scared and conscious of, you know, anything happening. Now I'm in the gym. You guys see me, I'm pumping those weights. I'm doing my thing, me and my husband. We're training together. I'm in this new phase of life with fitness. And so now I can take advantage of that. I can lift again. I can lift heavier than I want to. I can lift up my kids. I can do things that I was not able to do before when I had the fistula. I just really wanna take a moment just to thank my doctor because I think he did a fantastic job. You guys, I am doing a live question and answer on my channel. Right now, I'm hosting it, you know, once a month. Um, so this month, well, we will be having one coming up. So you definitely wanna check out the community tab in the YouTube channel. And at that time, we do polls and we figure out what's the best time for everybody. Um, right now, we've been doing it on a Saturday morning. So I had so much questions on this and I just thought it was so important for me to come because those on Instagram, for some reason, you weren't able to see my screen. But I just wanted to come here and show you up close Yes, I still have the punctured mark. That's like scar at this point, right? And I don't think that's gonna go away and it's okay. When I look down, it kind of gives me a little reminder of where I came from, but the arm is good. And I think this is just what I wanted to come on and show you guys that for those of you that might be afraid, um, speak to your doctor, obviously get permission from them and then speak to your vascular doctor, but step out in faith um, again this is a new chapter in your life and as for myself and I just feel like I'm just living you know intentionally and I'm happy and I'm excited about my future and where things are going and I, again I made this decision for myself and I and I feel great about it I have no regrets and you know God forbid that you know something does happen we will cross that bridge at that time but right now in this season Chrissy's having a great time enjoying her life, lifting, doing things that I wasn't able to do. It was a lot of stuff that, you know, it stopped me from doing, but now I'm back to being normal again. So if you guys have questions on, you know, my fistula process or, you know, check out the playlist. If it doesn't answer that, then at that point, go ahead and DM me or just comment below on this video and I'll answer any questions that you guys may have. But if you are considering doing it and you just wanted to know my thoughts, I have no regrets on it and that's all that I can say. So I want to thank you guys for, you know, watching this video, continue to support. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share these videos with someone. And if you are not someone that are on, that is on dialysis, I just want to say thank you for taking time to understand that person's situation by coming onto my channel because so many of you just come on to learn about the process so you can support a loved one or a friend or anyone that is in need. So I just want to say thank you for doing that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on my next kidney video. See you guys next time.